guys welcome 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 to another video of day by day with you i am so happy that you guys are here back with me this is a video um a diy um i spoke a couple of videos back of what we were going to be doing during this month so stay tuned for this diy i know you're going to love it so grab your pen and pencil so you can write down or just keep watching this video i know you, it will be easy for you to do and enjoy bye guys Okay guys, I will be guiding you through this video. As you can see, I bought uh, three Dollar Tree books. I bought these the same size just because that's what I wanted for this um, book, these books that I was uh, making. Um, but you can buy them different kinds of sizes. I will be showing you in a few minutes how it will look when you do buy the three sizes. So yeah, you can go to any Dollar Tree and buy any type of books. I do recommend, and this is a mistake I made, to buy lighter books. Um, this red color was so, so difficult for me to hide with this paint. Um, this is just regular paint, and I apologize for the off focus of the camera. And one of the other mistakes I made was this paper. I should have just done it on the table because this, this paint comes off with water, which is pretty easy. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is uh, paint the cover of whatever book you have laying around the house that you're not reading anymore. But I do recommend you use books that you are not going to read um, because once you paint these books um they're not as constant as comfortable for you to open up and read just because of all the paint that's um going on them but yeah um go ahead and grab some old books and just paint them with regular paint um paint i use you know regular indoor house paint you can use chalk paint you can use spray paint you can use any kind of paint you can even use color paint you don't have to color it or paint it white I just painted it white because it's the look I'm going for my house's farmhouse theme so I was going with the white color white on black so keep enjoying guys So a great thing that I learned while painting these books was um, painting the inside of the books first, the edge, the corners. Um, it's a little easier once you do that than to paint the outside just because um, you don't have to worry about opening the books once they're all painted in the outside. I saw this frame laying around in the basement and I decided to grab it and give it a nice different kind of look I want it to look a little rough vintagey farmhouse so I gave it a couple of rough coats of paint and you will see the final look later on So I decided to paint the other three books I had bought in Dollar Tree. These are different sizes, different lengths, and um, they're really thick. Um, I decided to paint them also um, and join them in the video just because I wanted you guys to see that it doesn't have to be the same size, the same thickness. Just any book you have laying around the house that you don't intend to read or just stop by Dollar Tree. These books are just a dollar. Um, m most of these books are been there for a while so you won't um have to worry about ruining them if you don't read like me i mean i read different types of books so i grab books that i'm sure i'm not gonna read so i recommend you do the same thing just give them a coat of paint once or twice this yellow one gave me a little trouble because it's i had to paint it a couple of times because of this color so yes buy lighter books
Okay, so here I am after the books have paint been dried enough. Um, I'm showing you the materials that you may need. These are different sizes of uh, permanent black marker that you can get. It all depends on the thickness that you want for the letters. You can buy stickers, you can buy stamps, but I just decided to do it with marker handwritten just for those of us girls or boys that don't have none of that laying around. And I don't want to buy stamps just to make these books. Um, but yes, you need twine, which I got at the Dollar Tree. You need a pair of scissors and some markers, which you can get at Dollar Tree also. It's, it's pretty simple. You just uh, wrap the twine around. You can wrap it as a gift. You can wrap it the way I'm wrapping it. Um, there's, there's no wrong way to do this. It's um, quite simple. So here's the almost final look. I really wanted it to look rough, vintage farmhouse. I didn't want it to look perfect. I wanted it to look a little sloppy just because most of my decor is that way. Okay, so I decided to go with the medium thick marker and um, I wrote on it by hand. I mean, anybody that knows how to write can do this. Um, you can, as I said, you can use stamp, letter stamp. You can also use sticker, black stickers. I didn't find any at the Dollar Tree, so I went with the writing on them. So you will see final look in a few. Now these are the other size the smaller size the ones that are the same size i decided to write on these first and then put the um rope around them the, just because it's a it's a little easier for me that way Okay guys, so this is almost the end result. Here you can see the final result after I displayed it in my landing on my second floor. It's a very simple DIY, just some books, paint, markers, and just some time. I know if you love decorating like I do, 
love uh, decorating on a budget. This is a great budget decorating um, tip that you can do. It's very easy to learn. Now here you can see my husband's nightstand in our room. I decided to put it on his side. He has, he doesn't have much on his uh, nightstand, so I decided to leave it there. All he has is his, you know, books and Bibles and stuff like that. Um, so I decided to put something pretty cute so he can remember when we got married. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.